Is today the day it might be that Leeds United have a breakthrough in their hunt for a left back? Now, diving into it, initially it might look like a bit of a tenuous link, but I feel like there's something here that could be good for Leeds United. Let me know what you think in the comments as I go, by the way, and subscribe if you're not already, that'd be massively appreciated. But first off, before we delve into our hunt for a left back, we need to start by talking about Chelsea's transfer strategy. Their current idea looks like it's to sell some key homegrown players that have a little bit of value in them, are still young, in order to fund their ability to piss money up a wall when trying to sign Moise Caicedo and Romeo Lavia. That includes, this is where Leeds come in, Ian Matson. Ian Matson is a young and promising left back who was at Burnley last season. He got promoted with them, was a fundamental part of their system, played as a sort of proactive attacking wing back, and he definitely has the energy to defend that as well. Ultimately, probably a better left back than Jed Spence is, and that lets Jed Spence move to right back. Let's be honest, we definitely need to sign a left back at this point. A young and promising left back not only means that we're able to get everyone into their proper positions again, we can try Archie Gray as a midfielder, for example, if Kamara and Ampadu isn't working in any given game. We can put Spence on the right so he's on his more comfortable foot. And now we've got an actual left back that we're happy with. And not only that, but being young and promising, you know you're going to retain value in him. Now, then you dive into the details a little bit and things get a touch more complicated. First up, can Leeds United even make a move work? And I say, in theory, yes, we can. For example, a loan to buy on promotion is completely doable. It's something we've done before. Looking at the sort of transfer rules and regulations, in your matchday squad, you are allowed five loanees at any one time. Currently, we have three. Off the top of my head, that is Rodon, Spence, and I can't remember the third. But that's fine. Um, but we have some space for loanees, and I think Matson could be a very, very good one. Angus Kinnear said earlier in the season with an interview, I think, with the square ball, that we were potentially looking at using those loan slots in January because you need to make signings to fill up the gaps in your squad. You've got those loan positions. It's less expensive than a permanent transfer. Brilliant. However, a lot of people say that in theory we need a permanent left back, and I agree, but if you don't go up, that's where things get really expensive, and that's where the, to buy on promotion is, I think, one of the more important parts. And I think that it's completely doable. I've seen values bandied around sort of £20 million, that sort of area, and it's something that we'd be able to afford if we went up. Staying in the Championship, that cost would be very difficult, so I think having it as a we will buy in the future clause, that makes sense. However, there are some questions. He is, first of all, a potentially very expensive option. We know that negotiating with Chelsea isn't the easiest if you're a buying club. If you're a selling club, you can rinse them for absolutely everything that they've got. If you're a buying club, things are a little bit trickier. And there's also the fact that you might not want to come. In his opinion, he's done the championship. He has gotten promoted last season with Burnley. And that means that at the end of the day, he turned Burnley down last year. When Burnley came in for him after, not after the window, after they got promoted, Matson was like, no, it's okay. I will try and force a path at Chelsea. However, this season so far, he's only played in 11 matches and has 152 minutes. If he wants to develop, he needs to start playing. And I feel like surely at this point, he understands that isn't going to happen at Chelsea. So he might be looking for a move. Whether or not that's at Leeds United is a good question. But having a quick look at the Athletic article that is sort of breaking all of this, apparently Man City are admirers of him. And you've got to consider the fact that Marco Correa is injured and Ben Chilwell keeps being injured. So I feel like him staying at Chelsea might make a little bit of sense for him. Although there's no problem with us making a move. There are some other options that we can look at and these are quite interesting. Archie Brown, who is at Ghent, is someone to be considered. A few years ago he was in the Derby Academy. Then he moved overseas to Lausanne in Switzerland and he impressed there for two years. Pretty good. And then he moved to Ghent. Earned the move because he'd been playing absolutely spectacularly, and now we're looking at him. Uh, there are some other clubs that are also looking at him, however, which means that we're going to have to deal with a little bit of Premier League interest, whether or not we can sell the idea that you would definitely be a first choice here because I think he's only 21. Maybe that would help, but he is experienced while still being young. He's got plenty of seasons of senior football under his belt, like Matson, so ideally we're able to secure something like that. And some more links that just will not go away are the ones to Charlie Taylor at Burnley. However, 
I'm going to say this now because I know a lot of people will continue talking and talking and talking, saying maybe we can just sign Charlie Taylor. He still gets regular minutes at Burnley. 15 appearances so far for them this season, and I think he's played the majority of all of them. There is no reason that Charlie Taylor, who is still playing at a Premier League club, consistently, even if they might be down in the relegation zone and in that battle, there is no reason for him to say, all right, I'll go to Leeds. That'd be daft. I think immediately I would say don't pay attention to the Charlie Taylor rumours unless they come from someone a little bit more serious, like Phil Hay, like Graham Smith, someone like that. Or if Burnley sign another left back, because he's currently basically their first choice. Anyway, that's all I have to say on that sort of new story that's emerging. Basically, we very much need a left back. We ideally need a quite good left back. And Ian Matson is very much on the market at the moment. If not, maybe Archie Brown, but we definitely need one in January. Otherwise, promotion is knacked, in my opinion. So let me know what you think. Can Leeds sign a promotion experience left back or even just a good left back in January? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't yet and like if you enjoyed this video. It's always massively appreciated and I will see you later.